Following a three-game losing streak, which saw their defense allow an average of about 50 points per game, the Bearcats got just the break in the schedule they needed, and it was not a bye week, though some might argue that point when it comes to SMU. The Mustangs are 0-5 and, and have told just 36 points in these five games. Cats and the 0-5 Mustangs in Dallas. Former President George W. Bush visited the Cats in the locker room. Whatever he said, it worked. Jared Evans on the pitch. Lost it for a second, but regained. Takes it in. Two-point conversion failed. 15-3 Bearcats. Second quarter, same spread. Gunner Keel. All day to throw fires for Johnny Holton. His only catch is a good one, and it's good for six. 22-3 Cats. Just before the half now, Jeff Luke persistent. Pressuring the quarterback. Never gave up on the play. And then the sack results in a forced fumble to go with it. Scooped up by Nick Temple. He takes it 27 yards for the score. UC barely breaks a sweat today. They needed this one. 41-3 final. They're now 3-3, three 1-1 three, one one in conference play, and they'll host South Florida Friday night at 7. Ohio State welcome Rutgers to Columbus for the first time as Big Ten opponents. JT Barrett got it going early. Four minutes in, he hits Nick Vanette and 7 nothing Buckeyes. Then in the second quarter, following a Rutgers TD, same combo, Barrett Vanette once again, 26 yards and a 14-point lead. Rutgers now wondering if the Big East is still playing football these days. Can't get anything going. Fumble, recover, defensive touchdown for the Buckeyes. It's 28-7. Then when Barrett wasn't passing, Barrett was running. Five total touchdowns on the day, two on the ground, including this one for 33 yards. 56-17, Ohio State welcomes Rutgers to the Big Ten with a big loss in Columbus. Miami and Northern Illinois, Red Hawks looking for their second win of the season for Chuck Martin. 9-7 game, NIU out in front. Drew Hare breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, then it's off to the races, and Hare... True to his name, fast. 43-yard touchdown, 16-7 NIU. Miami down 23-7 in the second. Daywan Scott takes this one in from the six, 23-14. We got a game. Six minutes to go now until the half. The Huskies starting to pull away. Hare finds Deron Brown, and Brown hauls that one in, and he is gone. 61 yards. Miami falls to one and six with a 10-point loss to Northern Illinois. Mark Stoops' second season in Lexington could not be going any better. Wildcats are 5-1. and one. one win from bowl eligibility at the midway point of the season. Tonight, a chance to clinch the bowl season with a win over LSU in Baton Rouge, which would be a benchmark victory of the Stoops' rebuilding project. First quarter action. Tigers already on the doorstep just a few minutes into the game, and Leonard Fournette takes them in with the touchdown plunge at 7-0 Tigers. It's a 10-0 game later in the first. Tredavious White back to field the punt. Look at the block he gets right there. And then Tredavious does the rest with his feet. Gone for six. 17-0 LSU. This is all in the first quarter. Tigers came out of the halftime break and started to add some more in the third quarter. Early touchdown, 41-3 the final. So that bowl eligibility thing for UK is now on hold for at least one more week. High school football on Star 64 tonight. Loveland and Walnut Hills, first quarter, less than two minutes in, and Luke Waddell already has Loveland lighting the scoreboard. Short touchdown run makes it 7 0 Tigers. Fred Cranford then goes to the Carolina Panther playbook. Remember that one? Throw back across the field to the tight end. Loveland rolling 24 zip. Third quarter, same spread. Waddell takes the handoff. He's patient, waits for the hole, and then cuts right through it, and he's gone. 80 yards once this was all said and done. All Loveland in this one, 45 zip. They're now 4-1 in ECC play.